Hi, Michelle here. Today I'd like to talk about my experience with COVID and long COVID. At first, I didn't know what was going on. I thought I had contracted a cold February 25th, 2020. I had just traveled uh, by airplane and come back and then I was working in a busy hotel breakfast area, cooking, making breakfast and cleaning and uh, being amongst people crowded into the breakfast buffet and everything. And I got a cold and people that I worked with also were sick too. And I thought nothing of it. it, it was just a bad cold. But then I also, at the same time, developed this hand rash in a trigger finger on my um, right middle finger, which is, uh, I would wake up in the morning and my finger would be stuck like this, and I'd have to manually pick it back up. It would just, and then I, so I thought that was odd. Um, I thought, oh gosh, I'm just falling apart. I'm getting old. But I thought I was getting better for, from the cold, like the few weeks had passed and and then you know, I tried to resume my normal activities and tried to work out and then I started getting sick again and this pattern went on I also had other symptoms like migraines uh, with an aura and I felt really really cold all the time um, my heart would beat fast I've had heart palpitations uh, I had problems breathing, I had congestion, it felt like I was coming down with something again, like I was getting a cold, I had headaches, sinus pressure, my feet were so cold that they hurt, um, and I still had the trigger finger, and the rash would start to go away, but as soon as I did activities, all the symptoms would flare up again, and I'd, I'd get the rash again, and let me see what other symptoms, there's so many, oh, I'd had brain fog, where I couldn't think straight and I was so tired that I could hardly move that I'd lay in bed and I just called it being a lumpy blob. Um, it's hard to describe it. It's a, a tired that you can't even, even when I had kids, even when I was working nights, it wasn't like this. It was almost like my body couldn't funct move. I was conscious, but I just didn't have the energy in me. Um, yeah, my eyes would be inflamed and runny, and my vision, I, I'd get blurry vision and double vision sometimes, um, shortness of breath. Oh, and in my chest, I um, had uh, like a constant, I called it like a whirring, um, if that's what it seemed like. Whenever I would breathe, I could feel it rubbing in my chest. And I guess maybe it's wheezing. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, that's how it all began. And this went on until I finally said, I've got to see somebody about this. And I didn't get a COVID test at first because I didn't, I, I didn't meet the parameters. Um, and so I finally went to the doctor. Uh, in a, I guess the end of May, early June, and they did blood work on me and everything was fine, uh, except I had low vitamin D. So I said, oh gosh. So I kept on trying and pushing and my normal response is to push through and just ignore everything and just keep forcing myself to exercise and, and do things and that just sent me back down again. So I went, was on this roller coaster up and down, up and down, up and down. And finally I said, I need to see an allergist because maybe they can help me. And so I saw an allergist um, like two months later or something. This is back in 2020. And they gave me some medicines would help, which helped with inflammation. And they told me that I could take the antihistamines twice a day and like double the dose of Flonase. Um, which I didn't know and that helped a lot and I also started on Singulair and an inhaler and that seemed to help but I still had up and down 
all the symptoms whenever I would do too much. I would get all the symptoms back, so, which was now come to find out it's like a blend of POTS, MCAS, and ME-CFS. So that's what I've been dealing with and I had really gotten better after I got the vaccine in April 2021. After that, I had noticed immediately within the few weeks I was feeling better and I gradually improved uh, to where by the summer of 2021 I was doing really, really well and I was almost back to normal. So what did I do uh, in September? I said, oh, I'm doing so well. I'm going to try to do some more strenuous workouts. I had built up to where I could walk a decent distance, like go for an hour long or more walks. And so I thought, oh, I will try this. And so I did a kind of strenuous workout and that sent me back into a flare up, but it wasn't real bad. I started to bounce back. And then what really did me in this last time was um, getting the booster and the flu shot. I did that in November and that sent me on a bad flare and I'm just now coming out of it. I had to go see the doctor again and get back on some medicines and oh it's just been something. So it's been quite a challenge to cope with. So I'll end this video at this point and I will continue after this. Thank you.